Hey, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to do another video with all the updates and latest news on RGBA. Uh, today is Thursday, so they're doing weigh-ins at 5 p.m. in San Bernardino at the or in Riverside at the uh, hair doctor's location. There's uh, you can look them up on uh, Instagram and look at the location. I believe it's reached Chicago. Uh, Ruben Rodriguez, eight and oh, three knockouts. He'll be uh, performing there on Latin Fury, uh, the process to light two card. He is uh, the most active fighter out of the whole team. At Ruben NR, if you want to follow him on Instagram. Green and B Fly Macias, 3 0 with two draws. Uh, he will be performing that night as well uh, on Friday night. Uh, at B underscore Fly 301, if you're interested in uh, uh, seeing some fights there in San Bernardino at the Club Center events. And then a prospect from Paris. This will be uh, his U.S. Pro debut. He's uh, five and zero, oh, but all his fights have been uh, south of the border in Mexico. So um, Ivan Garcia, five and zero oh from Paris, from the Riverside area. And uh, shout out to Cumbia for that picture at Cumbia K U M B I W A underscore. Uh, and then Ivan Garcia on Instagram is I V the number three N underscore Garcia. If you want to follow him, five and zero, oh, five knockouts. Ivan Garcia, I believe he fights at one eighteen. Bantamweight. Mikey Garcia, 39 and 1, uh, 30 knockouts. He's uh, starting to get back in the gym to do some sparring. Uh, he's been seen in the gym in the last few weeks, two or three times per week. Um, at Team Mikey Garcia for all the latest updates on him. Abner Marius, 31, 3 and 1, is getting back in shape. Sounds like he's got the green light from his doctor to uh, start training again. At Abner Marius, if you want to follow him on Instagram, also at Abner Marius Official. Jose Cito Lopez is preparing for his fight versus John Molina Jr. on September 28th on the Spence Porter undercard. Uh, it's at the Staples Center in LA, and he uh, is team sparring prospect uh, undefeated 8 and 0 Aaron McKenna. So if you want to follow Jose Cito, he's at Jose Lopez on Instagram. Jose Carlos Ramirez, 25 and 0, 17 knockouts. He's a unified WBC WBO champion at 140. If you want to follow him, he's at JC Ramirez 2012. Brandon Bam Bam Real, 35 5 and 1. His last fight was in February in Tijuana versus Humberto La Torrita Soto at Brandon Reels 1 on Instagram if you want to follow him. Esquiva Falcao, 24 and 0, 16 knockouts. Uh, his, he had a summer fight. Uh, we got no updates on him. He is not currently in the gym. At Esquiva Falcao on Instagram if you want to follow him. Eric De Leo, 19 and 0 with one draw. Uh, he's a top ranked fighter. Fights at 130. Uh, he was scheduled to fight against Jason Sosa this summer, but uh, that fall that fight fell out for him. I believe Jason Sosa got a got another fight a week or two weeks later. If you want to follow Eric De Leon uh, at Team De Leon One. Hector Tanahara improves to 18 and 0. He was on uh, Virgil's undercard in Grand Prairie, Texas. Um, at Hector underscore Tanahara, if you want to follow him, he fights at 135. He's Golden, he's uh, promoted by Golden Boy Promotions, and he's the current WBC youth champion. Carlos El Caballo Bronco Adames, 18 and 0. He's the current NABF and NABO champ at 154. Uh, fight news coming soon on him at Caballo Bronco on Instagram. Jackson El Phoenix Marinez, 18 and 0. He has a fight date of October 4th. Uh, he's another uh, Dominican Republic. Fighter in the gym at L underscore Phoenix. There you see him with uh, with uh, one of the McKenna brothers sparring. Jonathan Thunder Navarro, 16 and 08 knockouts, has not had a fight since last December. Uh, he went to social media and called out Luis Feliciano, who uh, went 10 rounds with Genaro Gamez. So at Thunder Navarro, if you want to follow him on Instagram, he's promoted by Golden Boy Promotions. He fights at 140. Carlos Licona, 15 and 1, two knockouts. He has a fight date of September 21st. In Bakersfield at Mexicanito 12, if you want to follow him, he, I believe he made the move from 105 to 108. Joshua El Profesor Franco 15 1 and 2, um, sub, fought to a draw against Oscar Negrete uh, there in Grand Prairie, Texas. At one Professor Franco, he fights at 118. He is uh, promoted by Golden Bird Promotions. Virgil Ortiz Jr. 14 and 0, 14 knockouts. Uh, he had his homecoming fight versus Antonio Orozco. Uh, at Virgil Ortiz, and if you want to follow his dad, at Virgil Ortiz SR. 
Joseph Fedor, no 13 and no 11, knocked out Stephen Fighting October 18th. I believe he fights at 130. Uh, he is uh, promoted by top rank, managed by Robert Garcia, at real Joseph Fodorno. And his brother, Jeremy Magic Canzadorno, 2 and 0, will be fighting on that same card. And so will Jean Bauza. Louis Coria, 12, 2 and 0. His fight, he was scheduled to fight on the Tyson Fury card, but uh, he posted on his social media that that fight's been canceled for him. So uh, at King Louis 416, if you want to stay updated on him. October 18th for John El Terrible Balsa, 13 and 05 mm -hmm. knockout. Mm -hmm. At Real John Balsa on Instagram if you want to follow him. Alejandro Porchop Guerrero, great news for him. He signed with uh, uh, manager Cameron Duncan. Uh, and Cameron Duncan manages uh, some, 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 some of the top talent in boxing, including Jaron Booth Ennis, who's 23 and 0 with 21 knockouts from Philly. At Porkchop underscore 214, if you want to follow him, he fights at 135. So congratulations to Porkchop, not only in becoming a father, but also getting a, a signed contract with Cameron Duncan. Lindolfo Delgado, 10 and 0, 10 knockout. He will be on the Staples Center uh, in LA, fighting under the Spence Porter card. He fights at 140. At Lindolfo Delgado on Instagram, if you want to follow him. Jesse Bam Rodriguez, the only, promote, the only fighter from RGBA that's promoted by Tekken Promotions, 10 and 0, 6 knockout. He had a homecoming fight in Floresville uh, earlier in July at 210 BAM if you want to follow him on Instagram. Brandon Bulletproof Lanton, 10 and 0. No news on him. At Team Bulletproof if you wanna uh, if you wanna follow him on Instagram. Misael El Chino Rodriguez, 9 and 0, 4 knockouts, hasn't had a fight in over a year. Uh, he will be fighting at the Staples Center. He and him and Lindolfo are fighters uh, both promoted by Richard Schaefer's Ring Star Sports. At Misael Lopi on Instagram if you want to follow him. Nato Alcón de Gámez suffered his first loss uh, a couple Thursdays ago versus Luis Feliciano. He was fighting at 140. Um, so there's been talks of getting him back down to 135. So showed a lot of heart. Uh, was hurt a couple times. Uh, Robert Garcia shared that via ES News. Uh, but showed a lot of grit. Stayed in there and fought back. So his first 10 rounder. Um, you know, part of the fight game, you can't win everyone. So, so congratulations to Hanaro Ronda. Although it was a loss, he showed a lot of, he showed a lot of heart and he showed a lot of grit. So, at Hanaro Gomez, if you want to follow him on Instagram, Aaron the Silencer McKenna, 8 and 0. He uh, has no fight date as of now, but there you see him staying in shape, giving Josecito Lopez some work. At Aaron MCK99, if you want to follow him on Instagram. Ray Danger Murataya, there was rumors that he would be on Prospects to Light 2 or what's being called Latin Fury. But as of as of a few days ago, uh, he's not on Box Rec. So Ray Danger Murataya from Fontana, a local fighter, fights at 140. Uh, 8 and 05 knockouts at Ray underscore Murataya1 if you want to follow him on Instagram. Aaron Morales, 7 and 03 knockouts. He was the most active fighter on the team last year in 2018. He had five fights in nine months. So he's had two fights this year. He's got one more. In September on September 21st in Bakersfield at Aaron underscore Morales if you want to follow him on Instagram. Brian Lua 5 and 0 two knockouts. He's a fighter. I believe he fights at 135. A very talented kid. Uh, those are the words that uh, Robert used. Very talented. Um, very skillful. Uh, 5 and 0 two knockouts. He fights at 135. He's promoted by top rank, uh, but I think he's been plagued by hand injuries. So uh, no no updates, no news on him at Brian underscore Lua. Robert Biggie Rodriguez, 5 0, 2 knockouts. He'll be fighting uh, on the, I believe it's a TGB promoted card there on September 21st in Bakersfield at Biggie JR underscore. Alexis El Macizo Espino improves to 4 0, 2 knockouts. He just had a fight in Hermosillo, Sonora. Uh, he'll probably be fighting one more time this year. There's rumors that he might be on that Logan Paul pay per view card at the Staples Center. So at underscore Alexis Espino 1, he fights at 160. He's promoted by Eddie Hearns Matchroom Boxing. Isaac Colunga, I believe he's back home now. If you want to update on him, he's at Kerry. Uh, you can follow his mom at Kerry Colunga or his aunt at Shelly underscore Shell 12 or a family friend, uh, Dodger Girl 19 at team underscore Colunga. Stevie Hitman McKenna 3 and 0 has a fight date October 10th at the hangar in Costa Mesa. It's a uh, card promoted by Roy Engelbrecht. At Stevie underscore McKenna, if you want to follow him on Instagram, there you see him in a picture with um, Jackson Marinas sparring in preparation. Evan Sanchez, 5-0, uh, 3 knockouts. Uh, him and his family 
along with Al Perez, run the Central Valley RGBA. He's had a few fights uh, this year in Tijuana. And um, if you want to follow him on Instagram, he's at Real Evan Sanchez. Isidro Ochoa, 7 0. He's a Bantamweight Southpaw. He's going to be fighting uh, on that Tyson Fury card in Las Vegas on September 14th. He uh, trains at the Central Valley RGBA. Alfredo Escarcega, 8 0, 4 knockouts. He's going to be on the uh, Latin Fury Prospects to Light 2 card there at the Club Center event in San Bernardino this Friday. Tomorrow, weigh ins should be today. Uh, he's been seen in the gym in Barron Riverside. His Instagram is ae.jr. Here's a picture of some of the uh, amateurs out of the out of out of RGBA Riverside uh, from roughly 10. I believe with the new gym, they're gonna probably triple in size, being able to uh, develop a lot lot more talent out of the uh, Riverside area. So the third quarter was uh, 15, one and two. That one loss coming uh, by hands of Nado Gomez. Uh, the pro record as of now is 58, 5, and 3. The amateur record is, uh, is uh, they just had that uh, that show in Compton. So that amateur record is not accurate, but that amateur record includes Pomona, Arlanza, El Monte, San Diego, and the Menifee Tournament. Uh, and then I just have to wait uh, to get um, an answer from either Chepe or from Pita to see uh, their rec what their record was at the Blue and Gold Tournament there in Compton. So uh, thank you uh, to all the affiliates of RGBA, including uh, Bumbia, who's the photographer, Ellie from ES News, Rainbow from Tees by Rainbow uh, via hype, Fight Hype, and uh, Frank Frank Silva, who goes by Frankic underscore one on Instagram, and everybody who um, everybody who's related to the fighters, trainers, managers, media that uh, allows us, the fans, to uh, stay connected with Team RGBA. Uh, and um, a, a special thank you to to Virgil's dad, who does a lot of lives on his Instagram to keep us and give us a lot of behind the scenes. Uh, and his Instagram is at Virgil Ortiz Senior S R Virgil Ortiz S R. So thank you to all the affiliates of RGBA. I'm Sontail Media. Please like and subscribe. You can follow me on YouTube. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Sontail underscore Media. And uh, make it out to the fight if you can this week, uh, this Friday. Uh, I believe the doors open at 6. There'll be, there'll be some vendors and there'll be um, some performers, but clearly this it's a boxing show, so there will be uh, Alfredo Escarcega, Ruben Rodriguez, and Brendan B. Fly Macias. I believe there's another fighter, uh, Leo Acevedo, from a local kid as well, who's a middleweight, I believe. Uh, so it'll be a good show. So come out if you can make it. And more videos coming soon. Thanks.